Hello, my name is Sarian Bangura, and I'm an assistant professor here in the Department of Pharmacy Practice at West Coast University School of Pharmacy. I'm actually an ambulatory care clinical pharmacist, so I have training more in the outpatient pharmacy practice setting, so I primarily manage chronic conditions in a primary care team. Here at the university, I teach second year students. Uh, I'm the course coordinator in endocrine, so I teach diabetes, osteoporosis, hypothyroidism, stuff of that nature. For me, it was primarily in high school where I had someone that came in from the public health services to talk about pharmacy and a career in that area. That sparked my interest. I just at that time knew of pharmacists primarily either in a retail setting like Rite or CVS. I knew pharmacists that worked in the hospital setting as well, but I didn't know that there was pharmacists that stepped out and worked in more outpatient clinical settings with other healthcare providers because now there's a big shortage of other MDs and physicians. So we're looking at other healthcare providers by primarily being pharmacists to help in that shortage of need and primarily working with uh, chronic disease states. For one, have fun, you know, it's gonna be four years you're dedicating out of your life to learning about the profession and becoming a pharmacist, but have fun in the process. And also, I encourage students to have an open mind, you know, a lot of students come into programs having an idea of where they wanna go into pharmacy, but then they come in and they explore different avenues of pharmacy. Oh, I didn't know pharmacists can work like in the government, or I didn't know pharmacists can work in academia, or I didn't know pharmacists can work in compounding. So explore different avenues and also network. Network is key as well to helping to, to grow professionally, not only while you're in school, but also beyond school after graduation.